Hello, author Michael Scott Clifton coming to you from Mount Pleasant in deep East Texas. I very much appreciate being with you today and especially uh, I'd like to express my appreciation to Balk Springs Public Library for the opportunity to be part of their virtual Comic Con. And I hope everyone's having a great time and you're having a great day. I generally write fantasy uh, and magical adventure but my latest book actually is one that is a scientific adventure involving a 12-year-old boy genius. His name is Edison Jones, and again, he invents things. Edison is a little bit unique because at age five, he was involved in a serious car accident which not only killed his parents, but left him paralyzed from the waist down in a paraplegic. But Edison hasn't let that slow him down. His passion is technology and inventions, and his latest invention is an anti-grav magnet from which he invents an anti-grav elevator in order to lift payloads into space which do not use expensive rocketry or rocket technology. Well, again, uh, Edison ha was paralyzed at age five. His grandfather, has, who is a, a billionaire owner of one of the largest technology companies in the world, has had uh, has kept Edison pretty much isolated at home, and his education comes from a series of private tutors. But when Edison reaches age 12, his grandfather decides that the decision he made not to enroll him in a public school or and to just have private tutoring for his education was not a wise decision, because Edison is no is not around kids his own age. In fact, doesn't even know how to relate to kids his own age. So at age 12. His grandfather decides to enroll him in a public school where he starts seventh grade. Needless to say, it's a, a very rough transition for Edison. Uh, algorithms, digital technology, all come very easy to Edison. But transitioning into the chaotic world of seventh grade and eighth grade girls, six, seventh and eighth grade girls and boys his own age, is something that he's totally unprepared for. Fortunately, Edison makes uh, meets some friends and makes some friends who help him with this transition, and they became they become part of his of the story actually of Edison Jones and the anti gravity elevator. As mentioned earlier, he invents an anti gravity uh, uh, magnet, which in turn uh, allows him to create a anti gravity elevator to carry payloads into space. But Edison has technology has uh, competition for this in another international company who goes to, uh, will go to no length to sabotage his efforts and to get their invention, their technology ahead of his, again, because of money. So the story very much is about how this happens. It's, it's a story of Edison's uh, overcoming the obstacles, overcoming his handicap. It's about friendships, uh, and it's about how friends can help you overcome disability. Another interesting fact about Edison Jones and the Andy Grav Elevator is that it is seeded with scientific facts, actual scientific facts, even though it's a work of fiction. Students who read this, even maybe some of the uh, older uh, students, maybe even some adults, will learn some things about science uh, without even knowing that uh, they're doing so as they read the book. It is a very compelling story, has a very great ending, and this is a, appropriate for middle school students all the way up to new age, maybe even for some adults. Hope you give it a try. Um, I have another book called The Open Portal, which is the first book in a fantasy series called The Conquest of the Veil. You'll see over my shoulder one of the characters from this uh, series. His name is Alabaster John, and he is a wizard, a character from one of, uh, of one of the characters from my book. The Open Portal, the first book in the Conquest of the Veil series, is about a young teenage girl, senior in high school, who is bullied to the point where she decides she's going to commit suicide and kill herself. But before she can carry through with the act, one night her guardian angel appears to her and, give, and offers her a deal, offers her a choice, swap her life with someone else. And uh, so uh, the, the bully girl, her, her character's name is Mona, decides, what have I got to lose? And takes him up on it. And the next day she wakes and f awakens and finds herself on a parallel world of Earth where technology has replaced magic. What's more, she discovers she's gone from a plain-looking teenage girl to a young woman of stunning beauty with riches and servants. Her wildest dreams have come true. And then the other shoe drops, and she discovers the price she has to pay 
for changing her life for another. Open Portal, first book in the Conquest of the Veil series. All of my books, if you'll go to my website at www.michaelscottclifton.com, are listed there along with the, the, uh, the, the uh, synopsis, the reviews, as well as links to be able to purchase this book. And again, that's www.michaelscottclifton.com. Appreciate this time to be with you. Give my books a try. Uh, you're, if you'd like, go to my website. You can uh, subscribe to my email, and I send out updates. It's a, it's a pleasure to be with you today. Good luck and happy reading.